This is a little project that uh, I purchased. Uh, it's a 1978 Coachman. It's pretty well trashed. But that's alright. Because we're going to cut all of it off. Sorry about the wind. And we're going to turn this into a tiny house truck. I have purchased this. The lady had bought it. I gave a little bit more for it to kind of help her out. She got it not knowing what she had. Just kind of sold a, a rotted lemon. And uh, so I bought it off of her, give her what she gave for it just for this project. So, you know, I've had, I've posted some pictures on my pages and I've had some people uh, tell me that I should rebuild it instead of, you know, cutting everything from here back, getting rid of it and building a tiny house. But after you see the inside of it, you'll understand why I'm not even wasting my time with it. It does have a big block 460 in it. It's got 77,000 miles. Runs good yet. So I'm going to use it as a, a little promotional vehicle, a little project to experiment with, uh, be able to pull my tool trailer to go out and do uh, on-site jobs. You know, just have fun with it. Be my weekend work. So I'm not just working on customer vans all the time, seven days a week. So let's take a look at the inside here. As you can tell, she started into it, was intending on rebuilding it, but it is, uh, it's pretty well trashed. I mean, as you can tell up here, they put this in and some supports just so they could put a rubber membrane on the roof because it was leaking everywhere. So, I mean, the walls are all rotted. The wiring is scary, to say the least. I mean, the floor is shot. It's got holes everywhere. So I've got a gentleman that's going to be coming and uh, I'm giving him all the scrap for him to strip it all off of it. So, you know, I'll get that done. I am going to keep the stove and see if I can get it working. If not, I'll uh, give it to him for scrap, but that'll be later on. I gotta watch where I step so I don't fall through the floor here. But you know, for what I'm gonna be using it for, it's a good good base. And as you can see up here in the front, I mean you can see daylight through the front where it's all rotted. So anybody that's got any nice little ideas, you know, let me know. I look forward to you know, going over all of them. My plan is, oh, sorry about that, up here in the front, that I'm going to build a, uh, I'm going to extend it a little farther forward than where this factory roof line is. I'm going to go a little bit farther so I can put a full size bed this way and it'll, it'll hang off past the seats a little. I'm thinking about adding a bulkhead uh, and then putting a, a doorway to get into the cab. And then where this thing has such an overhang on the back, I'm going to stop it. Oh, right about the 12 foot mark and then put a fold down porch. And it'll have a, a an older residential style door 
uh, out the back. I'm going to use wooden windows. I want to make it look like a little, little tiny house or a little uh, retro cabin or something like it. It just depends on what all I can find. Either good deals or, you know, recycled. So, it'll be a, a nice little project. It won't be a fast project. I figure as long as it I can get it done within a year, I'll be tickled to death. As long as work stays like it is and I keep getting uh, builds, you know, van builds. And with this having a 460 in it, uh, I think it'll pull my my uh, tool trailer quite well. It does have factory air condition. You know, it still needs some updates. Needs a lot of cleaning done. Uh, I do have a set of uh, set of seats I'm gonna put in here. Clean up, probably reupholster the door panels. I mean, the dash isn't cracked, so I'll clean all that up, and uh, we'll see what it looks like after he gets everything stripped down, whether I try to reuse the metal floor structure that's in here, or uh, just rip it completely off as well, and then start over with a new metal floor structure, and I'll probably end up studying it out of the two and three eighths metal studs instead of the three and a half because I'm going to spray foam it. So I don't want to sacrifice any more inside width than, uh, than I have to. And I'll probably end up going with some kind of wood siding and some old barn metal, you know, underneath, uh, on the lower half and around the front the corrugated or something like it i'm not exactly sure yet it just kind of depends on what i can come across but i think it'll be a nice little project and i uh, hope you guys follow along and you like it and you can comment and share if you need any help with your projects you know you can always find me at uh, red's custom design either on Facebook, Instagram, website, of course here on YouTube. And, you know, comment with some of your ideas. You know, what you would like to see, you know, and, and one if you were doing it for yourself. I may take the idea and try it out for you. I am located in southern Indiana. I appreciate anybody that takes the time to watch all my videos give me the thumbs up if you're not a subscriber you know i would appreciate a you know a little thumbs up and a subscribe and any products that i use i try to put as many links down in the description as i can get in there or find a link to so you know if you're looking for a particular product that I use uh, you know go down there and check first if it's not down there I will you know, if you make a comment or send me an email at reds custom design at outlook.com I'll try to get to you and get your uh, get you the information yeah no I'm not supposed to be shining into the sun but. all right well I'm gonna hop off here and uh, see if I can get this thing up and we'll throw some pictures at the end here after uh, after he gets everything tore off here. So, thank you.